I V M. Peace of mind is of utmost importance in today's world. And you know what's a major cause of anxiety for so many people today? It's unpaid bills. Cred has made it all easier and it even rewards you with some amazing cashbacks. This IPL season, download Cred and pay your bills during the power play and you could get 100% cashback. Cred, the correct way to pay your bills. Hey guys, welcome to the Positively Unlimited podcast. This is the third episode in the current A to Z series of work life balance. The first one was A for ambition, where I spoke about how our ambition impacts our life and how to understand the word balance in connection with the word ambition. The second one was all about beliefs. And I'm sure that those of you who heard that episode and who answered the questions that I asked in them, I know, I know I asked too many, but if you did answer them, then you know yourself a lot better than you did a week ago. Well, in today's episode, here's what I'm asking you. No, 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 don't hit pause. Don't tune out. I know I'm asking you a question yet again, but just bear with me. Now that you heard the episode called Beliefs and you answered those questions and you've understood yourself better, what are the conscious choices that you are making from here onwards? That's what this episode is about. C for conscious choices. In a day, we make so many choices, we take so many decisions by default. We don't even think about them. Why? Because They're not just a habit. It's like it's become a default setting. So for example, you wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth, you have a shower, you eat your breakfast. Everyone has a certain order in which they do things. Certain people will drink their tea or have coffee without brushing. Some people need to brush their teeth before they even sip water. We all have a way and an order in which we start doing certain things once it becomes a default setting. And things that fall into that list of default setting, well, we don't give it any thought. So sometimes it's just something that we are doing every day and not even realizing how it is impacting us. So for example, somebody who has eight cups of coffee at work, I don't think they even realize that they're having eight cups of coffee. It's like someone who needs to go for a smoke every time they receive an email that's not so nice or every time they have a deadline to meet. How you are responding to situations of pressure, a lot of times your response is a default setting because you've been doing that for so long. So I'm going to tell you this, go back to the previous episode, answer every question that I have asked on paper, have it in front of you and answer this question. What are the conscious choices you are going to make from here on? To help you understand what choices you should be making, how about you also do this? For one week, just observe yourself and understand how you are choosing what you are choosing. Yes, a lot of our big decisions are based on belief, but a lot of the tiny ones are nothing but habits. Can you consciously choose to switch off from work the moment you drive out of your office? Can you consciously choose to not respond to emails or pick up work calls or when somebody calls up to politely tell them, that, hey, I'm home now, I'm sitting with my family, can we talk about this tomorrow morning when we are in office? Can you make those conscious choices? I know that just saying those words right now and the example that I used, you have a picture in your head because you possibly do it and it's making you feel restless. Why? 
because you are so used to constantly being on call for your office. Most of us are at the beck and call of our office. And it's not just the fault of our boss. It's just the place that we have given work in our life. Again, go back to the episode called Ambition and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. In order to live a full life, you will have to make many tiny conscious choices through the day. For example, can you have your cup of coffee in the morning without planning your day? Can you just have five sips without thinking about all the things that you have to get done? Instead, can you use the time that you spend with your cup of coffee to just breathe? Close your eyes and breathe between sips. What do you think will happen? If you want to live a balanced life, you have to be willing to take conscious choices and that may involve some tough decisions in the beginning. Can you eat your lunch on time? Can you not skip your breakfast to reach work early every single day? Can you take fewer smoke breaks? Not because you should be working harder, but because you need to cut down on smoking because that's a goal you've set. Living a full life, creating and maintaining work-life balance requires us to make certain choices and take certain decisions. There is no way around it. It doesn't just happen magically. And that is why today's episode is about asking you, what are the conscious changes that you are going to make from here on? Think about it this way. What are the three things, if you change in your day, in your life, in the way you are, your entire life will change? Just sit and think about this question for a while. Come up with all kinds of options. Make a list. And then pick three that you can do immediately and three that are convenient and easy for you to do. And just imagine how your life will change when you succeed at making those three changes. You were not born to work 18 hours a day. That is not why you went to college or studied so hard. Money is important. Your work is important. Name and recognition is also important. But every single thing has a certain place and must be experienced and enjoyed in a certain quantity, up to a certain level. Let this just sit with you. Ponder upon what I have just said and figure out what are you overdoing, what is in excess in your life and begin to cut it by increasing that which is less in your life but can give you more joy. I wish you all the best this week to make these tiny changes and I really hope that you experience a sense of balance this week. As for those previous episodes that I mentioned, if you want to listen to those, tune into the Positively Unlimited podcast on the IBM website or the IBM podcast app. You can also connect with us on Instagram and Twitter. Our handle is IBM Podcast. And if you would like to ask me any questions about any of the episodes I've recorded till date, or if you would like to tell me how a particular episode has helped you, DM me on Instagram. My handle is Positivity Angel. I hope you enjoyed that show. If you aren't following us on social media, please do. We're IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We'd like to thank our sponsors this week, thewholetruthfoods.com, PayPal, Cred, and Seat. Thank you so much for working with us. We really appreciate it. 
First up this week, let me tell you about Cyrus Says. We featured popular YouTuber and actor Prajakta Kohli, who took us through a journey of content creation. We also had conversations with Vasanthi Hari Prakash and Sachin Kalbag this week. Really, really great, great, great conversations. Do check those out. Vineet Kanabar goes solo this time on Storytellers and Storytellers as he talks about his favorite IPL ads and how brands have been making content around the Cricket League. On The Habit Coach, Ashton was joined by Arjun and Sumesh of the Fighting Goat podcast to talk about fitness for combat sports like the mixed martial arts. On Nankari, Sadaf and Archit discuss the diet and lifestyle of athletes with the host of the millennial athlete, Shok Ramchandra, who is also a pro badminton player and coach. Ambarana opens the fourth season of Noyer Kanun with a list of things he has planned on the show for us, including episodes on immigration law and on career prospects for law students. The IPL season's on and we've definitely got you covered. Tune into the Edges and Sledges podcast if you're looking for English and if you're looking to listen to something in Hindi, definitely check out Kail Niti. Both are great shows with great takes. And with that, I hope to see you again next week. Hi, I'm Zarina Punawala, host of the Empowering Series podcast on the IVM Network. I happen to be a peak performance coach and leadership coach by profession. And I'm here to share with you productivity tools, life-altering techniques, and real-life hacks to help you achieve your maximum potential in everything you do, your relationships, professions, careers. So tune in every Monday to unleash your inner power. Be safe, be well, be empowered.